Hey you guys, this is your girl Crown Me. Rast it all. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are already subscribed, you guys already know the love is real. If you are not yet subscribed, no worries. Please, please, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button, become part of the kingdom. My name is Natalie. I do hair videos, makeup videos, and weekly vlogs. So please check your girl out. Binge watch me. I have a bunch of videos, so all my playlists will be down below. So for today's video, I'm pretty much creating a look. A look darling like a look okay that is like pretty much my thing I just love to go from 0 to 100 love to go from blah to ya yeah, okay I just love to create a look so for today's look it's pretty much fall inspired I have the graphic liner orange graphic liner going on and then I did pretty much the easiest style ever just four cornrows back but I adorned it with some lap jewelry just to spice it up a little bit so if you're interested to see how I created this look please keep watching Hey you guys, this is your girl crown me, Rasta Doll. So for today's video, as you can see, I'm starting off with my hair and I'm sectioning my locks into four sections. Again, um, I haven't retwisted for the whole month of November. Just giving my hair a little bit of a break. I'm not going to say how long I'm not going to retwist for because, you know, I don't know. I might just feel like doing it tomorrow. If I feel like it, I feel like it, okay? <laughs> so anyway, as you can see, I spritz my hair with my water and oil mixture, which is something that I do every time I manipulate my locks because... Yeah, my hair has to be wet in order for me to manipulate it so that I don't break it or hurt myself. It hurts to like manipulate dry black hair, okay? <laughs> so anyway, um, so I am braiding my locks. I'm just going to put them into four cornrows, corn braids, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing here, going into my second braid and creating a cornrow. So as you can see, when I got to the back of my head, I turned around, make it a little bit easier for me. You know, braiding and twisting and all these styles is just something that requires practice. Practice makes perfect with everything. And you guys, you know what? I ended up going out the next day and literally 24 hours after braiding my hair like this, since my hair was wet, I did wash it prior to this video. My hair was so curly. I was shocked because usually it was only like it was only one day. I didn't even leave the braids in that long. And my hair was really, really curly. So this is definitely something that you can do. Also, it'll be like a little one, two day style. And then, you know, when you take it out, you're going to be curly, especially for me who's not retwisting right now. Um, having curly locks definitely masks the fact that your roots are retwisted because your hair is wavy, it's given body, it's given body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. <laughs> so nobody's not paying attention to the roots. And if they're paying attention to your roots, girl, get it together, sweetie. Get it together, okay? You should not be that worried about somebody's roots, okay? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so here I'm just putting um, some of my, what is this, some of my edge control. Alright, so now I'm showing you the jewelry that I'm going to be adding to my locks. These jewelry can be used in twists, braids, anything, you know, any hairstyle, but I'm going to be adding them to my locks. You literally just separate the hoop and then click it back together. So I'm going to be putting these all over my locks. These are like the little hoops. I got these on Amazon, I believe. If I still have the link or if it's still available, I'll list it down below. But yeah, I'm going to be putting in these hoops all down the length of the braids. And then I'm going to be going into like those lock cuffs and I'm going to be applying those to my hair just to give the style a little bit of, you know, edginess a little bit of uniqueness and just you know make it fun you know it's a little boring for little cornrows I like some fun hairstyles okay so that's what we're gonna do we're making it fun and then after this part we're gonna jump straight into the makeup Thank you. 
Okay, so y'all already know what's up. I'm jumping straight into my eyebrows. This is the first step that I always do. Everyone does their makeup in different steps. I like to start with my eyebrows because I just feel like it frames out my face and gives me a starting point, gives me something to work towards. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate. And here I'm using the Juvia's Place Concealer in the number 12 to clean up my brows. Okay, so for my eyelids, I'm going to be using the P. Louise base, and this is in rumor number five. Yeah, so I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelids just to give my eyeshadow something to adhere to and make them pop. I'm going into this Ace Beauty palette, and as you can see, I'm taking that rust dark orange shade, and I'm applying this to the crease. So next I'm going to add these two lighter orange shades and I'm going to blend out the edges with that just so that the darker orange doesn't just start abruptly on my eyes. We want it to fade into that other color and then fade into our skin tone. So that's pretty much what I'm providing, just like a little bit of blending. You know, you definitely need to blend, 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 blend. That's all these eyeshadow looks like require. Lots and lots of blending. So as you can see, it's not looking so stark. It's not just looking like, oh, she threw some orange on her eyelids. Using that lighter orange is helping it to kind of blend in so it's more seamless. So next I'm going to be going into this burgundy shade and as you can see I'm using a fine tip brush and I'm just creating the shape again with this brush. I'm laying down the product. I'm going to be creating the eye shape that I'm going for. So as you can see I went along the bottom and now I'm going along the top of my eyes and we're just placing the color where we want it. Next, I'm going to pick up also a small brush, but this is a little fluffier of a brush and I'm literally not even picking up any more products. I'm just blending out what I already placed there prior. So we're just blending, blending, blending. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into my orange, my brush with the orange, and we're going to again blend. That's what all these eyeshadow looks are about, just blending, blending, blending. You usually have to go in between the two shades, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, just to make sure you're not losing. I don't want to lose too much of the orange. I still want the orange to be seen, but I still want the burgundy to be seen. So as you can see, I'm doing the next eye, blending out that burgundy, and then you're going to see me go back in with the orange, make sure it's still there, and blend that out as well. All right, so now I'm taking this burgundy, which is a little lighter than the first one, and I left kind of like a space on my eyelid, so I'm literally just going to place this color down on my lid and blend, blend, blend. So I'm going to be going in with this style. This is a pigment. This is like a neon orange pigment. I've really been into these pigments and these liner looks these days. So I'm literally just like making a wing liner with that. And then I'm going to bring that wing around like on top of my eyes. You're going to see I'm about to do it right now. And yeah, I'm just creating like a little fun graphic liner look with the orange. I thought it paired really, really well with the burgundy. And it was given like fall 2020 vibes.
After applying the graphic liner, I did go in and line my eyelids. Of course, I'm out of frame. Ugh, I just always out of frame when I do my liner. Here, I'm just thinking about it. Do I like it? Do I not? It's too late. We're moving on to face. <laughs> I gotta like it at this point. So I'm again gonna be doing that reverse method that I saw Harouche do. I just really like this method and I kind of want to perfect it. You know, makeup is all about doing things differently, trying new techniques and seeing what works for you. So I've already known the other technique to work for me. So I kind of want to make this technique work for me. So yeah, as you can see, I'm going in and I'm putting some contour. I'm putting it around my lips just to make it a little bit more pouty. I'm putting it under my jaw. You guys already know slim up that jawline a little bit and then I'm gonna put it in my normal contour areas as you can see around the perimeter of my forehead and on my cheekbones just to accentuate those cheekbones I'm gonna put the excess down my nose like the sides of my nose just to you know clean up that nose a little bit yeah and next we're gonna go into what is it we're gonna go into concealer okay this is the Juvia's Place stick foundation in the color Tanzania I believe this is Tanzania that's the contour that I use and now there we go here I am showing it so that's the color that I use as my contour now we're gonna go into Juvia's Place concealer and this is in number 12 and we're gonna put this everywhere that you would normally put concealer under the eyes down the bridge of the nose sides of the nose just to like do a little bit of extra nose contouring and I also put it on my forehead to bring back some light there because I lost a lot of it with all that contour and yeah next we're gonna blend 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 So for the bottom of my face, I'm going in with my foundation. This is the Estee Lauder foundation. I use the color 5N2 Amber Honey. So yeah, I'm going to place this at the bottom of my face. And yeah, pretty much complete the face. That's going to be all the liquid products for my face. Then I'm going to go into powder products and just set everything. Set everything in place and make sure that, you know, my face is sitting 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 so here i'm just going over everything making sure everything is blended no harsh lines you know you know the deal i'm actually gonna put a little teensy weensy bit more concealer this is the dose of color concealer in the color deep i believe it's just a little lighter bring me a little bit more light to my face because like i said yeah i just need a little bit more light sometimes so this is the Laura Mercier set and powder. This is the original color, not the honey, original one. And I'm gonna set everywhere that I put my highlight. Okay, so to set the rest of my face, I'm going into this Tarte Shape Tape Powder. It's in the color, I have it down below, I think it's dark deep, but it's just like a perfect setting color for me, for my complexion. So I'm going over everywhere that I did not put that Laura Mercier powder and just setting the rest of my face. So to set my contour, I'm going to go in with this Morphe bronzer. This is in the shade Romance. And I'm just going to go over top my bronzer that I laid down first, if you remember. And, you know, just make sure it's there. Bring the color back into my face, you know, sculpt it or whatever. <laughs> Thank you. 
back in with my note blush it's just you know a nice peachy orangey shade so i thought it would pair well with this makeup look so we're just going to be putting some of that blush on i like to put it on the apples of my cheek i also always like to go in with a pen liner and just fix up my liner because it always gets like powder or shadow or concealer or whatever the case may be over top it so i just want to make sure it's black and it's bold next i'm going to use my highlighter this is the becca highlighter and i'm going to be placing this wherever i want the light to hit so that's like at the top of my cheekbones on the tip of my nose on my cubics bow you know hit all the cute little places y'all already know I'm going back in with that burgundy shade mixed in with a little bit of the dark orange and I'm going to run this along my lower, is this my lower lash line? Yeah, <laughs> my lower lash line. I'm going to run this along that and just blend it out, you know, just to make the look more rounded out. Then I'm going to go into this really pale, light, orangey, sparkly shade out of that same Ace Beauty palette. And I'm going to apply this for my inner corner highlight. Alright you guys, so I'm pretty much finished with my makeup look. I just wanted to showcase this Bite Yay Sayer Plumping Lip Gloss infused with cinnamon oil. I did receive this for review. It's a really, really pretty, it's pretty much nude. Here it looks pink, but it's a really, really cute color. Uh, my, the shade that I have is Guava Puff, which is really cute. And it is a clean plumping gloss that harnesses the power of cinnamon oil for just bit and plumper looking lips and a sexy irresistible shine, okay? So this retails for $25. So I am going to be using this lip gloss today. Um, let me see. Does it hurt? Let's see. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so it doesn't have much color, so I do want a little bit of something, something on my lip. So I'm going to go in with this Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the color Supernatural. I'm going to actually let this dry and then I'm going to go over top with the gloss. But in the meantime, get into these eyes, honey. <laughs> get into this liner, honey. Yes. Oh, so pretty. So I smell the cinnamon, y'all. So pretty. I've really been into glossy look these days, so this is like right up my alley. So pretty. Ooh. Yes. So yeah, I'm gonna um, go wash off all this makeup off my hands, change my clothes, and I'll be right back. Alright you guys, that's going to complete this video. Thank you guys so much for rocking with your girl. Please hit the subscribe button if you have not yet done so. Head on over to Instagram. Follow me over there so you can see my fire pictures. Because you already know I'm about to go take some pics in this look. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Love you guys.